So when you guys are ready to start soldering, the first thing you need to do is put flux on all of your um, foil lines. Okay? The flux are in these tiny little yellow jars. Carefully open them. The flux is like a water consistency. It's very thin liquid, but it is very oily. And I'm just going to dip my brush in here and then wipe it off. You do not want too much flux. If you get too much flux on here, when you start soldering, it's going to spit and spatter, and it will land on you and it burns. It's very hot, okay? So I'm going to lightly wipe flux where all of my foil is. We can get the outsides a little bit better after we take the pins off. So you really want to just focus on doing your inside lines first. Okay. Then we're going to use this scrap solder in these little jars. So this is stuff that has dripped onto the boards. Okay, there's just like little dots in here. <coughs> I'm going to set the scrap solder on all of my joints where the two pieces of glass meet. Okay, this is called tack soldering, where you're just tacking all of the joints together. All right? You need to make sure your iron is on and set to 8 or 9. The power light should be on. And then these black ones have an on and off switch. The circle is off. Okay? You can hear them make a little buzz sound so you know it's on. Um, I hold my iron like this. Okay, some people hold their iron like this, whatever is comfortable for you, but be careful because it is hot down here. And just make sure that this cord is not touching your iron and make sure it's never touching your iron stand because this stand is hot. Okay, so whatever your line you're going to do, I always make sure my line is facing me. Okay, it's parallel to me. So if I'm going to do this line first, I would move my project so it's this way. Otherwise, you're holding your iron weird and it's uncomfortable. So just turn your project. Um, but for tack soldering, you just melt your solder and lift up. And this iron might not be very hot because I just started it. So I'm just melting and lifting straight up. If you notice that your iron is not melting very well, melting the solder very well. You have to make sure that these tips are shiny. If the tip of your iron is not shiny, it's not going to melt your solder. So to clean that off, see this side isn't very shiny, I'm going to wipe it on the damp, damp sponge until it's shiny. If it doesn't get shiny from wiping it on the sponge, you need to use this block. This is some sort of mineral that will clean the solder off. And it gets really smoky, but you have to press down really hard, and it will clean the tip of your iron so it gets shiny. And then it will clean on the damp sponge better. Okay, if you guys are using this a lot and it's getting smoky in here, make sure you open that door over there, because you definitely don't want to be breathing this stuff in. Okay, so now it's shiny. And I have tack soldered all of my joints. So now, don't ever set this on the table. Oh, I can do this one. Don't ever set your iron on the table. Always put it back in the stand. Okay, so now I need to finish soldering. This is the roll of solder. You can either hold the roll in your hand, like this, and solder like this, or you can melt a long piece off, okay, and just hold this, but this will get um, hot on your hands eventually, so you won't be able to use, you'll be able to use it like up to here, maybe, okay, that's why there's a lot of these scrap pieces, I just hold the roll in my hand, <coughs> but some of these are really heavy when they're brand new, those, those rolls are over there are heavy, and if you drop this on your pattern, you'll break your pieces. So some people don't like to hold the, the roll in their hand. 
Okay? So, now that I've tacked all my pieces together, I can take out my pins, because they're all melted together. We still don't want to pick it up, because it's not soldered together very well. So what we're going to do is melt this solder on the tip of the iron, and just drag it along those solder lines on your foil. Okay? I'm going to turn it, so I'm always pulling straight towards me. Do you see how I'm going slow? You don't want to go like this, okay? You just want to go slow and steady so you're getting an even rounded bead, okay? You want your solder to be even. You don't want it to be flat. You want to have a little bit of a rounded bead to it. Okay, and you don't want there to be any bumps. So I'm just holding it up against my iron and just drag it along. Okay, when you get to the edge, if you pull the solder off the edge, it will pool on the side like this. Okay, if you lift straight up, it will not do that. So all the way to the edge and then you would just lift straight up and then you won't drag that solder off okay um, to do the edges you probably won't need to put any solder on the edge if you just drag the iron along the edge it'll have enough solder on the iron to put solder on the edge See how it's getting covered? And I'm not adding any extra solder. Okay, the solder will be flat around the edges. It won't be the thick, even bead like in the middle. Okay? So after you've done the front, you're going to let this cool down, and then you're going to flip it over, and you will flux the back side and do the same thing to the back. Okay? And then... After you finish the back, I'll show you guys how to do the sides. But you don't ever want to work on your project too long because if, if you keep going back and refixing these solder lines and your glass gets too hot, your glass will crack. So you never want your project to get too hot. Okay? If it gets too hot, just let it cool down and then you can always come back. Um, if you have a big gap, you're going to notice that your solder just keeps melting through that hole. You need to get some solder in there, let it cool, and then when it's cool, you can go back and add some more solder on top and it won't keep falling through. Okay? I want to show you guys what a bumpy soldering line looks like. Let's see if I can. Okay. So if you ever have solder on your glass like this, you can actually just pull it. You can move it with your iron. If I have bumps, you can clean that up by going from edge and dragging it all the way to this edge. Sometimes you can just go like this and lift straight up. And it'll fix by itself. Okay. If you notice that you have a, a lot of solder right here and not a lot right here, you can try to drag some of that solder over to where you need it. Okay. It's okay if it pools up on the edge like that, because when you're done, you're going to pick it up, I'll have to fix that later, and you will solder the edges and just let that extra stuff drip off. Okay, so you can see it's just dripping right off. You have to hold it really close to your ceiling tile because if you're holding it up here and you're going like this, that bead of solder is going to drip and bounce back and burn you. So always, I always make sure it's touching the board and I'm just kind of rolling it and twisting it. And you just want to make sure that there's no bumps all the way around and that your foil is all covered so you can still see the copper foil. So I would keep going and let, 
just like these sides, you don't need to add any more solder. If you just drag your iron along the edges, it will cover it with solder. Okay? And like I said, if your heart gets too hot, you shouldn't be touching it. If it's too hot to touch, you shouldn't be soldering. So just let it cool down before you do anything else. Okay? And if something like this happens, it was just, it wasn't dry when I lifted it up, so it dripped. That's totally fine. I'm going to let it cool down and I'm just going to go back and re solder that line to smooth it out. Okay? So once you solder the front, you're going to let it cool, flip it over, flux and solder the back. You're going to use the scrap solder to tack solder all of your joints. Okay? And then when you're done, you guys are going to solder a ring onto the top of your heart. You always solder a ring onto a joint. If you soldered a ring into the middle of a piece, it'll lift that foil up. When your piece is hanging in the window, that foil will lift off. Okay? So if you put it on a joint where two pieces meet, it won't pull that foil off. Okay? And you want to solder your ring onto the back of your heart, not to the front. And you're just going to use a tack or a scrap piece of solder, put it on there. Make sure you put flux. If you don't put flux on here, you can't solder. Okay, so my front side is cooled. Before I start soldering, you need to put flux. If you don't put flux on here, it's not going to be pretty. It doesn't stick to your foil as well. So we're going to dip the brush in flux. Wipe it off. Flux all of your foil. This piece is a little flat, so I'm just going to go back and add some more solder. Lift straight up. If it pools underneath like that, it went through a little bit, it might be because your front is still too hot. So we can go back and fix that later. Alright, so I'm going to let this cool down a little bit before I pick it up to put the ring on. Okay. So now that my front and my back are soldered, I need to fix the edges. Okay, so you can see my foil still. What I'm going to do is just drag my iron around the outside edge. Make sure your heart is down on your tile. Don't hold it up here so it splatters and you're just going to melt that extra stuff off and drag your iron all the way around so you're covering it all with solder be careful do not burn your fingers Make sure there's no foil showing. We got everything. I thought I saw some. Right here. Okay, 
good. Alright, now I'm flip flipped it over so my front is down. This is my back side. You're going to grab one of these rings and use a tweezers. You need to put flux on where we're going to solder it. And make sure you're soldering on a joint where two pieces touch. So I could put the ring down here if I wanted, or right here, or right here. Obviously, I want it on top of my heart, right in the middle. Okay, grab a piece of scrap solder. Hold the ring where you want it. Okay, grab your iron. We're just going to melt it. and then you can let go okay if you don't like where it's at okay mine's a little off centered all you have to do is reheat it okay let it cool for a second and then let go Alright, so all of my back is even, there's no bumps, my front looks good, my sides are done, and I have a ring on. Now I am done soldering. So never throw this scrap solder away. Don't touch it when it's hot, but when it's cooled off, make sure you guys keep this and put it in the scrap jars, because we use these to tack solder. Okay, don't throw any solder away. And then... Make sure you guys wash your hands because the solder has lead in it. And you don't want this lead on your fingers when you're eating food and touching your face. You don't want to get it in your eyes or your mouth or anything. Okay? So we're going to let this cool. After it's cool, we're ready to clean it off.